Pipe smokers, cigar aficionados, vapors and snuff abusers. I have just been watching Carolina Rose and she said she's enjoying the snuff. It's good to see her again. We're not sitting for a while. Just that little pin, she says. I say stick it in there. Feel the burn. But we have other things of pressing procedures. It is Sunday, and it is the green table, in honour of Brutal Enough. Now we've got a few little bits, but firstly, YTPC Team Freedom Badges out. Don't forget about this guys, we've got the Freedom Blend. And team Freedom isn't just about people showing off the guns on a Friday it's about your freedom to smoke a pipe your freedom to talk about things which everybody does don't they you know, we'll have a little bit of gardening a little bit of dog walking a little bit of whatever a little bit of this a little bit of that a little bit of cooking everyone's got their own thing going on some are just pipes and tobaccos but even the some that are pipes and tobaccos. There's always a little something in there. That's because you're free to say what you want. So don't forget. Freedom blend. There we go. Pastor Press doing a fantastic job. So ODF, Old Art Fired and Virginia. Stunning. Smells awesome. And then also, we're gonna start with this bad boy. Oh, kick me tripod. Professionals, oh. Look at this. Now this has been gifted to me by a good pal. Bit of a connoisseur. And we were informed of these types of pipes from Brutal, available somewhere in Germany. And when we look at him and it was like, whoa, that's a nice one. So this certain individual, bless him, got one sent it me smoked it last night what a smoke it was it makes you wonder why we went why people bother with wood pipes briar pipes because the flavor that came through was just absolutely stunning but it's fantastic i mean it's the original pipe what people used hundreds of years ago fantastic i like my clay pipes stunning and then the other one is this little bad boy. It's an estate pipe. As you can see, there's the little H. It didn't need much work, so I'm not I've not really bothered with it before and after. The stem wasn't too bad. It's just had a touch of a sand, it's ebonite. It's had a touch of a sand in and a polish. The bowl, I've reamed. It's all been sanitised. There is no ghosting, no smell to it, no old tobacco. And as you can see, hopefully, it's a Hardcastles, British made, lightweight. Pre-World War II, family era. The Dunhill took part of the Hardcastles company in 1946. So this is pre-1946. Generally what they say is Briar was so hard to get hold of during the war that anything was probably made pre-World War II, pre-1939. A lovely little pipe. That will be superb for your reavers, twisted ropes. 
great little addition. So pleased with that. The stem is a little bit loose. But I'm going to do a boiling water dip, swell it up. I also think, because it's not been used for that long, the briar is very dry. The ebonite will be very dry. So it'll swell anyway. So it'll potentially tighten up. It was clicking back to a certain point about there. Well, since I've cleaned it, it's already stopped doing that, but it's just that little bit tight at that point. It's just that endy point once it's gone in. But I'm so pleased with that. And again, an estate pipe that's got new lights given. And I'll, it was less than 15 pounds. And that is the end of my green table. Happy Sunday, everyone. Look after them families. Stay free. Ta-da.